Hi guys, so I'm going to go over the basics of what you need contest-wise for 4-H Fashion Storyboard, but stay tuned for more videos where I'll go over content and information you can use for the future and apply it in life and everything you want to do in fashion. So here we go. So in a nutshell, Fashion Storyboard is an industry method that tells the story of the designer's idea. However, I like to think of it as an explanation of the design. So you're explaining your design on a poster board. And as you can see in this image, this person is drawing out details to explain how to create this item. And if you've noticed, he even has notes to help explain. So that's what you want to do. You want to explain your idea slash outfit slash design on how it would look to how it would be made. And that's the goal. You want to create and explain. So for this contest, this is the basic, and I mean very basic things you need on your poster. You need a design brief, which is the title, the inspiration, they go hand in hand, the category, there's several categories, you pick one, an original illustration, flats, fabric swatches slash trims, and the entry form. The entry form is usually pasted on the back. I also wanna add that your design needs to be on a 20 by 30 foam core slash mat board and not a flimsy poster. Okay, so you want a thick poster. And labels are not needed, but encourage, because it helps explain your board slash design. So, design brief. The design brief and inspiration go hand in hand. A design brief is pretty much the theme for the year, and every year there's a new theme. So make sure to visit the Texas 4-H website to find out what the design brief is. And then, once you have that, you can start brainstorming ideas to get your inspiration. So, as you can see in my example, Fashion Design Catches the Ways is the design brief, and then Hula Dancer is my subtitle. Subtitles are allowed, you're allowed to use them to make a more personalized name for the designs. Um, the only reason why Hula Dancer is a little bigger is because I use this as a design contest uh, during District 12 Leadership Lab and there was a whole thing. But ideally you want your title bigger than the subtitle. And the title on this one is Fashion Design Catches the Wave. And then the subtitle is Hula Dancers. So you're allowed to have more titles, but make sure to have the design brief title on there, just to clarify. Also, once you have your design brief, you start brainstorming your design and get inspiration. It can be a photo. You can take a photo, print something off the internet, or tear something out of a magazine. Honestly, it's just anything you want that inspires you. You can put it on your board. So once you have your image, you need to figure out what your design fits category-wise. So there's six categories. Wearable, accessory, jewelry, pet clothing, home decor, and home furnishings. Okay, so wearable is clothing. That's anything that could be worn. Includes items such as pants, shorts, skirts, blouses, sweaters, coats, dresses, I mean, anything that you wear. Accessory, this is items such as belts, purses, bags, and hats. Jewelry, it's its own category, and jewelry is jewelry. So it's necklaces, bracelets, rings, earrings, watches, I mean jewelry. Then pet clothing is another one, and this can be worn on any pet or any animal, and I mean any animal because I've seen in contests people do uh, clothing for their livestock animals. So if you got a livestock animal like a hog and you want to dress it up, be my guest. And then home decor, anything you want to make your home look pretty, visually appealing, right? So examples include pillows, table runners, uh, things you hang on the wall. I mean, it could be curtains. It's honestly anything that makes the house pretty. Home furnishings, these are items that make the house comfortable for living or working in. So an example would be a couch, ottoman, chair, tables, desks beds. It's that kind of thing. So home decor makes things look pretty while home furnishings makes things look comfortable. I mean, not look, are comfortable for the home like beds and etc. Just to distinguish those two categories. So once you have your category, you can start designing. And what you need to design your garment is <laughs> an illustration and a flat. So an illustration is your design. It's a main artistic form. I like to think of it as an abstract way to show what your design is and usually the way they separate illustration and flats is illustrations on a body and flats are not 
But illustrations can be on a model or quirky. Now, if you're doing home decor or home furnishings, that's a different story. It just has to be um, explained better in the flat. And I'll get more into it. Uh, there will be a whole video just on flats and illustration. Um, but if you can't draw, don't worry. You can trace your design. It's not a big deal. But you need an illustration to tell your story or show your design. And then you need a flat. Now, a flat is a way to explain how your design will be made. So illustrations like making it look pretty, you're just getting the, the, the idea out, and the flat is showing someone, a manufacturer or a seamstress, on how it would be made. This is where you show where there's a seam, or where the button is, or where the you know zipper is. How do they get in your design, right? Unless it's, depending on your fabric, knit versus woven gets into, and that will be another video too, because there's so much detail. But flat is usually by itself, it's just a cloning itself. And then the illustration is on a body. The only exceptions will be home decor and home furnishings. And if you need help with that, comment below and I can make a video just on that. But those are the two things you need. You need an illustration and you need a flat. And if you go to the Texas 4-H website, the guidelines and rules packet shows you some examples in every category. Except pet. But pet's the same thing. It would be an illustration would be your garment on the pet. And then the flat would just be the item itself. And then once you have all of that, you need your fabrics and trims. And this I will say, make sure that the fabric swatches matches your design. Okay, so that's going back into woven fabrics and knit fabrics. And again, I'm not going to get into it. But if you need help, I'll make a video about it. But make sure your designs and trims and fabric matches your design so it can be appropriate. But then once you have all of that, the fat illustration and the fabric trims, then all you need is your entry form. And you need this to, in order to compete. So you can download this form on the Texas 4 website or visit your local extension office where they can print it out for you. But this form is essential, okay? You really do need to fill it out. And if you look at this form, you notice at the very top, it gives you, you have to break it down, like your age category, who you are, county, all that good stuff. You're going to fill that out, and then underneath it, you'll see that you need signatures. So you need to sign it, your parents need to sign it, and even your county extension needs to sign it, okay? We need all those signatures on your form. And then the very bottom, I think this is the most important part, because this is another opportunity to explain your design, to tell your story. So make sure to fill it out, have fun with it, write uh, freehand, or you can type it out. It's up to you. But that's it. This is Fashion Storyboard in a nutshell. This is a very basic information that you need to get started and even need on your poster, honestly. If you want more ideas, visit the Texas 4-H website. They have pictures of past partici participants' storyboards. So go look at those examples. Everyone's done a really good job. There's no really wrong way to make a poster. Have fun with it. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to respond to you as quickly as possible. And depending if it's on the demand, I might just make a whole video on that topic. So please comment below. I really do want to know what you want to know more about. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Again, I'm going to make more videos on the content. So I'll go over fashion illustration, some tips on that. Same thing with flats, things you need to know, um, common misconceptions about the contest and things you can do to help you in your project. Thanks for watching. And I'm just Jocelyn. Bye.